Ready? <laughs> Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today's video is interviewing a homeschool dad. So this is my husband, Scott. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just have a few questions for you, and <laughs> this is awkward, and um, yeah, just have a conversation. So, all right. <laughs> Sorry, that's me. <laughs> you can't just look at me like that. It's weird. I just looked at you like I look at people. I didn't look at you a certain way. You're dark. All right. I can't do this now. No. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Ruining everything. Relationship building is great. <laughs> So prior to us starting to homeschool, what did you think of homeschool? I was pretty sure homeschool was for religious people who didn't want to learn science. Okay. Diplomatically speaking. Right. Has your opinion of homeschool changed? We are teaching science. So certainly <laughs> that part's different. No, I, I definitely thought it was going to be different than it is. So it's actually pretty rewarding in ways that I did not expect because it reaffirms that I have a bunch of knowledge that I can pass on to my kid. You kind of feel like you don't really know that much. And then you're like, oh, actually, here, look at this. And you feel like you're actually connecting to your kid in a way that you don't get to normally because it's under the auspice of being a teacher. Nice. Uh, what is your favorite part of homeschool or the way we homeschool? When it's over? <laughs> no, it's that was, that was the kid's favorite part, <laughs> yeah, I too. Gonna say, I imagine that's what she said. Um, my favorite part is I get to teach her things that she wouldn't probably learn in school. Like I, I work in computers, so I can teach her about computer things. I can, we disassemble a laptop the other day and she didn't, wouldn't have learned that in school because they don't have laptops just to disassemble for people. So we got to break something apart. I also used to do construction. So we've built some things with our hands. So I teach her how to hammer a nail and pull a nail out, put a screw in, take a screw out, really basic things, but kind of things that you're 21 and you're like, I've never used a screwdriver. I don't know what I'm What's the most challenging part of homeschool? Well, I mean, I'm still her dad. I'm still the child's dad. So I don't really get to uh, separate myself the way a teacher would be able to and get away with certain things that uh, they would just, well, it's my teacher. I have to listen to my teacher. <laughs> you don't have to listen to your dad. I, you should, but it doesn't always work out that way. So. Right. Yes, it's hard to like, you don't get to be full teacher. So you, sometimes you have to remind the kid, listen, we're in teaching mode. Listen. <laughs> right. Um, what do you think we ought to change for next semester? Um, I don't know. I think it's pretty loosey goosey the way we do things anyway, is the way I do things. <laughs> <laughs> so one day we're just uh, we're throwing in some technology. Sometimes we're doing in uh, through a little extra art, a little extra science. I'm probably don't need to change anything at my end. She seemed, the child seems to be getting a good grasp of things. So I don't really, I don't see, but then again, I'm not a professional educator. So I would defer to you in this regard. <laughs> what advice would you give to other um, parents who new to homeschool? Well, it helps to have a really talented person organizing it vis-a-vis. So if you don't have anybody like that, I'm sure there's websites and online forums and stuff that will give you what you need. But having the support of, of a professional educator makes it very, very easy for me. So I don't know that I can say that it's gonna be as easy for everybody else if they don't have that in their background. But let's say that you do and you feel comfortable with what you're teaching. It's really, it's very, very fun to get to just go, you know what we're doing? We're gonna go just pull apart a laptop, let's go. This is RAM, this is hard drive, this is where the keyboard disassembles. Just I don't know, stuff that you don't really take the time out of your day usually to go like, we're going to have a lesson about how to cook a steak. We don't really just, just don't do that, but you can be like, we're having lunch together. Guess what? We're cooking a steak. Here's how you prepare a steak. Here's how you make sure it's cooked thoroughly. Here's how you make sure you season it. So more of the like hands-on real life type yeah. stuff uh, that, that you can capitalize on that. Yes, because then she's not in, the child's not in school for 
seven hours a day and then come home and doesn't want to learn anything from me, I can just go, hey, guess what? We're going to throw this in here. Here's saying, make sure you don't get poison from eating chicken. Make sure it's cooked to 165 degrees, et cetera. Right. Anything else that you would share or want to, to say in this interview? <laughs> I said a lot. Uh, I don't know that- Anything else? I, uh, I don't know what I expected, but it's probably not what you expect. And it's going to give you a an interestingly different bond with your kid than you probably had before. At least in my case, it did. I feel like I know the kid better than I did before I was homeschooling the kid because I don't have to, because I have to take a different role and that changes our relationship slightly. So it's kind of cool. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for You're sharing welcome. your thoughts. <laughs> as as awkward as this little interview may have been. Oh, I'm never awkward. <laughs> but thank you very much. And my husband does um, homeschool on one day a week. It was full day, full day, kind of. It's it's more of a, a lax schedule. So whereas like three days a week, I have like eight to 12 is exactly the time we're doing it. They have Fridays. I have the whole day. And they just so do whatever, always... whenever. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching and Let's hear from some other homeschool parents. What's working for you? What are your thoughts on homeschool? Maybe how is it different than what you thought it would be?